I mean, at 11 years old, I couldn't dribble like this. So <laughs> I really don't have any words for you except that's special. <laughs> hey, GQ Sports, this is Victor Oladipo, and this is Real Talent. Okay, first up we have Yassin Garam, and he's a point guard. The first clip we're looking at is his first play. He does a great job of holding his defender off to receive the ball. He catches it, he already has his mind made up in which direction he's going. He's going away from the defense. If he was to get the ball and dribble to the left, he would be right where number four is in black. So he goes to the open space, dribbles right to get his defender off. And you want to go where the space is. You don't want to go where the crowd is. It's, um, it's almost like the opposite of a party. And he uses the behind the back to kind of stop to slow his defender down. I think the hardest thing to do as a defender is to stop and go as the offensive player is playing. Once he gets the defender on ballot, he could go left or right here. He chooses to go left. He sees that the other guy steps up. You can tell Yasin is everybody's favorite point guard. Pass first. All right, in this clip, he's using the pick and roll. He does a great job of coming off tight. You can tell he can shoot the ball because the, the defense goes over him. They're forcing him over the screen so he won't beat him with the three because he's obviously capable of doing so. If you watch him, he uses his eyes to get number 12 to go back to his man. So if you rewind it and almost pause it, you can see his eyes look at his teammate. He saw the scene, he saw the lane, and he made a tough, super, super tough, strong finish right here. It's a close game too, that was a big time move. This is probably one of my favorites, the full court press. Okay. When he initially catches it, he doesn't dribble right away. If you pause for a second and you wait to see what the defense do and then you go, it'll be a better opportunity for you to get the ball up the floor without turning it over. He does a between and then cross, cross, get him off balance, and then he euro steps and finishes. You get two steps after you pick up the ball. A euro step is basically using that first step to have the defense thinking you're going one way and then using your second step to go another way. That entire play, you could tell he was trying to make them never pick up fool again. When a guy does that, I guarantee you they probably didn't pick up fool the rest of the game. In this play, you can tell Yasim is in attack mode. They cut him off and he's still trying to get to the paint. When I was growing up, they say if you get to the paint, something good is going to happen majority of the time. Once he gets to the paint and he draws two on him, can't really shoot it because he has two guys over him. He has five in the drop off. He could throw it back to 22, or he can make this great play like he does and swings it over across court. A lot of coaches don't like guys who pass in the air, but I don't think that's a problem in basketball anymore. Just for the simple fact that if you see what it does here, it actually makes three guys react to him. Once he does that, he's got a wide open three for his man, number four. It's a great number. And he knocks it down like us fours do. In this play, Yasin does a great job stemming the ball, using his body to try to draw a foul, which he drew the foul, and he made a tough finish. You can tell he's a smart player. He won't necessarily try to make an incredible play. He'll just make the right one, which is point guard material. Yasin. You have the assets already to be a great point guard. You know how to pass. You know how to shoot, obviously. You know how to create for others. Now it's about doing that 100 out of 101 times. Great clips, man. Just keep doing what you're doing. Hopefully y'all won that game. I didn't get an opportunity to see that, but the future is definitely bright. Next up, we got Shikosi Bordy, 15 years old, shooting guard. The first move we got up is his move on the baseline. Nice has he? Oh, tough finish. Only 15 years old, too. And you could tell he's a shooter because of how hard the defender closes out at him. So when he closes out at him, he sees the drive, but you could tell he likes the three because he comes back. But when he comes back, the defender is a lot closer than he originally was. So he has to shoot his floater. He shoots it from outside the paint, which is really tough to do. It's a great shot by Jacosi. He knocks it down, he swishes it on the scene. Next move, he's at the top of the key, coming off a pick and roll. Does a great job of using his handles to create an advantage for himself. 
you could tell he could shoot because every time he starts dribbling or moving outside the paint, everybody's feet are above the three-point line. At that point, when you got your defender's feet above the three-point line, you got to blow his doors off. He decides to just drive it one on three, which, you know, I know that feeling. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Really tough finish. You can tell his body is basically under the basket. He almost has to fillet it and flip it around. Some would say, you know, it was a tough shot, maybe tougher than he needed to be, but I say all the time, great players make tough shots. Last clip for Jacosi. He's definitely a shooter. Next play comes down. Same spot, same result. At the end of the day, man, those are big time, big time buckets. I don't know what the score is, but I can see the crowd is into it. His teammates, his coaching staff is into it. He did a great job of making sure his feet were set on his shot, holding his follow through. The simple mechanics, simple basics. Anything special you do when you're taking a three? Yeah, I just make them. That's my specialty. And even when I miss, I make them. Chikosi, man. Uh, first off, man, you got a lot of talent for a 15 year old already. I wish I would have had the same talent you had at the same age. But don't let that make you lose your hunger. Continue to keep getting better. Continue to keep striving for greatness. Who's to say you can't be joining me in five, six years? So maybe even sooner. So we got Jonathan Edit, age 22, the wing or a three slash stretch four. So he's like a Greek freak, LeBron. Those guys play the three and the four. First clip is my man Jonathan on a fast break. They kick it up to him. He's on the wing, obviously, because he's a three slash stretch floor. He does a great job, something that even I need to work on. When he's about to go finish for a layup, he keeps the ball high, the shoulder and above. He doesn't bring it down because the smaller defenders could swipe at it. So he does a great job of keeping it high and finishing it high. Next clip with Jonathan. His guard does a great job of getting his defender on his heels and making Jonathan's man react and try to help. Has his feet set and shoots it with confidence. Swishes it. It's a big time shot, Jonathan. All right, we got another clip of him driving and kicking. He definitely went right by his guy. And instead of forcing a layup, he did a great job of finding his teammate in the corner and just making the right simple play. Sometimes a simple play is the best play. When you make those plays, guys want to play with you more. The next clip, he catches it at the top of the key. Well, he catches it accidentally at the top of the key. I don't think his teammate meant to pass it to him. I believe he was about to come and set a pick for his teammate and maybe pop or roll to the open space, which is towards the baseline. Instead, he comes, he accidentally gets the ball and he goes exactly where he was about to go in the first place. I bet you if he was sitting right here, he would be like, yeah, that's what I was about to do. And then at that point, he just works on his Euro step. We saw from Yassine in the earlier clip, now we see it from Jonathan. Basketball is a lot about awareness. Even though he didn't necessarily get to where he wanted to go, the way he initially thought he was gonna get there, he was still able to because he didn't panic. Jonathan, continue to keep being that smart, savvy player that you are, that I can see that you are on the screen. Continue to find ways to use that wide frame like you have been doing. Stay hungry, man. That's the key, man. Just stay hungry. Don't be satisfied. Alexander Coleman, 18 years old, small forward, 6'2", 160. First clip. Oh, tough finish. Looked like he could have dunked that one. Just use his athleticism to go over the guy. What I really liked about this is that he kind of took off from a little further than probably people are taught. It doesn't give the defense a chance to set up because he's taking off from so far. Okay, fake to the tray. Throw the three up after. You made a great shot, man. Way to hold your follow through. You can tell you're a really good player because any other coach would have been mad at you for not passing it to 32. <laughs> But you did a great job of faking and, and getting the defense off balance and then getting to the shot that you know you can make. You, you had the defender guessing. Next clip, great rebound. You are definitely versatile, son. Great job, a way to get to your spot. Great finish. Way to get your body under control. It's tough going one on four sometimes. <laughs> but you did a great job of getting yourself under control and finishing a tough layup. 
he has the ability to take over a game. Not everyone has that ability to who much is given, much is required. When the pressure is on, he's responsible. Some big time clips right there, Alex. Don't be afraid to trust your teammates too. Because at the end of the day, they're gonna make your job even easier than it already is. But if talent-wise, ability-wise, you got it inside out, shoot threes, layups, offensive rebounds, you got the talent, just keep working hard, everything else will take care of yourself. Last but not least, Austin Eisenberg, point center. First clip. Oh, my oh man, the center going between his legs, behind his back. I mean, at 11 years old, I couldn't dribble like this. So <laughs> I really don't have any words for you except that's special. <laughs> I would have drove left here too because number eight guy, your teammate, can't help. So all the space is going left. You did a great job of setting it up with the cross between to get to the open space and then getting to your spot to finish right off the glass. And you made the other team call a timeout. That means you must have been scoring a lot. Next play, point center, who's the center who dribbles up the floor. Way to bring the ball up. Oh, in and out cross, floater. Tough. You like that right to left crossover, I see it, okay. I don't know how to explain the floater from the free throw line. I mean, I do it, but I mean, I didn't do it when I was 11 years old. So that's really, really impressive to shoot a shot like that. Even you were excited that you made it. Look, look at his reaction after you made it. And it was to beat the buzzer. You're excited. Your teammates are excited. The fans are excited. That's a big time play. Next play, you're dribbling up the floor again. Oh, wow. You guys are in a horns play. Horns play, you guys have two screeners at the top of the key. And you can go off the screen either right or left. Pretty sure that's what your coach drew up. Instead, you call the play, and when the defender's not looking, you pull up for three. That's VO mentality for sure. That's mama mentality, whatever you want to call it. But to call a play and then run your own, that's pretty impressive. But I'm a fan of yours, Austin, definitely. Last clip from my man, Austin, my point center. Number eight sets a great screen for him. Oh, man. You can tell you do a great job. You, you must work out with cones when you when you work out. You work on your handle, getting through cones, staying low, getting to the cone, making a move, getting to the next cone, making a move, getting to the cone, retreat, drill, race at the cone, cross. You got a great handle. And you do a third move when the help comes. You do a great job of ripping through the defense and finishing strong. That's a big time play for 11. Goodness gracious. And the coach ain't gonna say anything if you make it, so way to make the shots in. Uh, wow, Austin, you have an amazing ability already at a young age. I remember when I was 11 years old, they used to call me Tasmanian Devil because I would just run as hard as I can all over the place, but I didn't really have the talent that you had with the ball. Imagine you have this ability and you worked as hard as I did, how good you can be. Man, it's gonna be a scary sight when you turn 18. Goodness. This age of athletes with these young kids now, it's hard for them not to be advanced because of what they're exposed to. It's incredible to see them be able to do what they do. At the end of the day, this young generation has the talent already. They just gotta make sure they don't lose the work ethic. All right, GQ, that's real talent. This is Big Dog Depot. Film session was crazy, but I'm out. Peace and love. Mm -hmm.